My name's Joylyn McCabot, and I've just finished the Booty Bands and Barbells 90 Day No Excuses Challenge. And I finished, I did it. So Danita asked a few questions at the end um, on the last Positive Mindset. And the last thing she said was, I tell ourselves, I am going to make you proud Note to self. <laughs> Gosh, I think I did it. <laughs> I am just cruising into the like less than a month to 54 years old, so Ooh, I'm a little more emotional than I thought I would be. I live in Alaska, so part of this journey for the 90 days was done in very cold weather so some of you might have seen that some of the pictures had a whole lot of snow but my husband wound up 16 years sober he's learned to be a support which has been pretty cool uh, during this 90 day journey I don't know if he really thought that I'd stick with it either but in 10 minute increments at the beginning I was able to build enough strength so that I could continue to keep on keeping on, which was kind of cool. Uh, I did get stronger. I love what has been taught in the positive mindset. She reminds us every so often to really check in with our bodies, like really pay attention. Does your body hurt today? Do you need to modify? but my husband wound up getting cancer. My daughter had a miscarriage, which was devastating. And then the last week of this challenge, she caught a kidney stone and we had to rush her to the ER. And Scott's mom had, a, uh, she calls it a small stroke, but it was pretty serious. And we have been dealing with all of that. But you know what, through all of this, because of what I learned at the beginning, and where I was at the beginning to where I am now, I have learned to put on my own oxygen mask first, really go deep with self-care, and I've really made that a priority. And I think when you make that a priority and you really, really love yourself, which before I was incredibly um, self-conscious, not because of my weight, I just had some serious, uh, issues with self-esteem so through this journey and this year i can't remember if this is the third or fourth year but um i have gotten to a point in watching everybody where i started to feel really really safe uh i knew that my cousin daisy had done it and i watched her uh you know kick butt and take no names <laughs> she's amazing and uh, I thought if she could do it and work through her stuff, then I could do it. And you know what? I never used any of the things that happened to me as an excuse. And I just want to say to you who might be listening to this, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. Love yourself. It's really important. And um, even if at the age I'm at with the hormone issues of this last couple of years, it took a long time to get to the point that I was. And I feel, I don't wanna say I'm a 10, but you know what? My mindset, I think is pretty darn close to a 10. I really understand that loving myself comes first and I have made it a priority. I, I don't know that I do it every single day, but I look myself in the mirror and I say, Joy Lynn, I love you and you're worth it. And so I say that to you, you fill in the blank with your name. You are loved and you are worth it. And this journey has been incredible uh, an incredible beginning because it helped me also to feel confident enough to search out some other areas of my life that i wanted to change uh and because i could do it for 10 minutes i thought hey uh i'm gonna talk to my daughter and i'm gonna see if we could walk or do something else on the side well i started walking as an extra little at 
first maybe 10 minutes, 15. Well, it wound up being more like 30 minutes and then an hour. Um, some days I didn't get more than like 4,000 steps in, but some days I got 7,000 to 10,000, which is amazing. But what I did, and I, I don't know if, you know, many of you are suffering with uh, cortisol overload, but my life with an autistic child and with all the other things we've worked through, cortisol is not my friend right now. So uh, on my journey, I have found that walking really slow and intentional, like get the steps in, but do it slowly just so your body is moving every day. And that slow intentionality and deep breathing as I do it, and sometimes just walking with my daughter, which is just a blast for me because she's slowed down and walks with me, which has been so, so fun uh, because I've gotten to renew that beautiful relationship with, you know, someone I care deeply for. And she's watched me get stronger and get more energetic and get more, uh, uh, it, she's watching me lean out, which is kind of cool. So she's doing this with me uh, on a different, you know, she has her own journey, but she's learning to have positive mindsets. And she's always kind of been like that. She she is able to let go easier than, than I think I can. Uh, and she, um, she's one to try to focus on the positive, which is really cool. And I'm outside because it's Alaska and I can. It's really light outside and these are some of my favorite things. I don't have everything uh, booty band labeled, but I, I have some things that I just really, really love and appreciate. And OMG, this protein powder from booty bands and barbells is delicious. Uh, I love it, so I'm gonna give a plug because wow, it's so good. And my long bands and my uh, my booty bands that are for uh, resistance training, they've changed my life and my barbell because it's smaller and because I can lift it. At first I used it without anything and then I could lift it with the smaller weights, but I'm building and I'm working towards being even stronger than that, which is kind of exciting. So on positive mindset, I already addressed, but strength and core, I still have some more work to go um, to get, or more, I want more progress. So I am calling this my finish line, which I did it, but my new starting line uh, to a new level of hopefully loving myself even more, not because of where I'm at, but because I know that I am valuable and I'm worth it and I'm just gonna keep on keeping on. And if you have a chance to get to know the ladies in this group, they are so positive and so encouraging. I, I have cried a few times when I've sat down and posted because the encouragement that I've received has been such a blessing to me. Blessings and love yourself.